Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Ash here from the Swerve channel, and I'm going to be recording my QB tier list video. Uh, so I'm going to be ranking all the starting QBs in the NFL as of right now. So like guys like uh, Justin Herbert, the rookie, Tyrod Taylor, and some players you, some quarterbacks you probably don't even know. But then there's also uh, like Drew Brees and stuff like that. And then there's Fitz Magic, Cam Newton. And then there's also Philip Rivers who's gonna be in the retired section if I can make that. So let me just rename all the categories by elite above average. Can't even spell bro. Average. Uh just average here. Uh, below, oh, 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 oh. I'm typing backwards here. Below, average, that sucks. So we're going to start with Drew Brees, and I think he's not, it, it depends, he might play, but I doubt he'll play uh, this year, because the Saints are running out, are out of money, and he won't go anywhere as a backup quarterback. So I'm just going to put him in the below average because that's where he ended his career as. But he's an overall elite quarterback of all time. Uh, Jared Goff, he's a below average quarterback. But when he was on the Rams, people didn't give, enough, give him enough credit. I think he was an average quarterback on the Rams. But right now, he's not going to be because of his um, trade to the Lions. And the Lions are not a very good team. Uh, Mitch Trubisky, people don't also don't give him enough credit. But I think he's an average quarterback. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's it's... Like, I mean, this season, he didn't play that bad. He actually played pretty well, especially towards the end of the season and, the and like, week 16 and week 15. Uh, Derek Carr. He's an average. He's an almost above-average quarterback. He'd be, like, towards the end of above-average, but he's the best, I could say the best of average quarterback in the league. Uh, same for Kirk Cousins, second best. He's an average. And Taysom Hill's a below-average quarterback. He was below average this year. He wasn't that good, but he was also not that bad because his he didn't have he didn't have a turnover problem. He just didn't have the best arm. Kyle Allen, he was all right, wasn't that good. He was also didn't like suck suck or like on like Sam Darnold belongs or let me see some of the quarterbacks. Or um, uh, Gardner Minshew, Joe Flacco, Drew Locke was garbage. <laughs> Jared Stidham. Dalton is a really good backup quarterback, as you can see what he did with the um, Cowboys. But he's not a good quarterback. He's not that good of a quarterback. Dak Prescott, definitely above average quarterback. Oh, that sounded disgusting. Uh, Matt Ryan, he's an average quarterback right now. Definitely was above average flat last year, meaning 2019, but this year not. Um, Alex Smith is below average. He wasn't that good. I think he had more turnovers and touchdowns. Oh my god, my ears. <laughs> Uh, ben Roethlisberger definitely wasn't that good. Towards the end of average was Mitch Trubisky. Josh Allen, if we're moving forward, definitely quarterback, but he's not the best. So Tom Brady, above average moving forward just because of um, old age and he's going to regress a little bit. I know I'm talking like different franchise. Uh, Deshaun Watson, obviously he's an elite quarterback. I don't know how it's debatable. Cam Newton moving forward. He's just not the same Cam that we've seen before. Carson Wentz. He is an average quarterback. He just didn't have the O-line to help him out this year. Jamie's Winston. Oh, that's close. Because he had a turnover problem, which ruined his resume. Ah. But I think I'm going to keep him in below average just because of the 30 touchdowns to, um, well, not a good amount of touchdowns for 30 interceptions, but 
just 5,200 yards. But his turnover problem is a big deal. Aaron Rodgers, he's going to regress a little bit, but still an elite quarterback. Helping him behind Deshaun Watson, because Watson's young. I don't know why people say Russ is not better than Deshaun Watson. He definitely is. Just because I don't want to overload elite, I'm going to put Lamar Jackson at 6 and at above average. And Patrick Mahomes, obviously the best quarterback in the league. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, definitely an average quarterback because he took the 49ers to the Super Bowl with their defense. Their offense wasn't very good, except for Garoppolo, Mostert, and maybe Tevin Coleman. Garoppolo is a good quarterback when healthy. He's like 24 and 9. He does have the surround. He does have a good surrounding cast now with Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel, which are very young receivers who can develop. So I can see him easily being. An average, maybe an above average quarterback next year. If he, and the the Forty Niners, I I saw some I saw something on this uh, Instagram that they said they're gonna that John Lynch wants to bring back wants to keep uh, Jimmy Garoppolo as a starting quarterback for 21, 21 and twenty twenty one and that's gonna help the Forty Niners a lot. Kyler Murray is an above average quarterback, but towards the end, Baker he's the last above average quarterback. He's definitely gonna improve a lot. Herbert's our above average quarterback. Daniel Jones. Mm -mm. Tyrod Taylor. Undefined. I'll put, if there's an undefined category, I'll definitely put him there. Philip Rivers is also in the undefined category because he's retired, but he's like average at the end of the season. Moving forward, I can see Matt Stafford being one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Top, top 10, top 11. I think Justin Herbert is still better than him because of age. And has more, but has better weapons. But Stafford's on a is on a very good organization, so I can see it. Joe Burrow, very good quarterback. He's average right now because of that MCL injury. He's obviously MCL, ACL, all the ligaments in the knee. Because of that injury, he's in at, he's actually towards the bottom because everyone's career careers are always going to get aff affected by ACL injuries, and that's one of the big the worst injuries to suffer. In the in any sport, so I think I would have put him like here, if not, but because of that ACL injury, I'm gonna put him here. Uh, Nick Foles, he's below average, maybe even sucks. He's not that good. He's a great backup. Ryan Tannehill, definitely above average quarterback, and strip club for himself. All right, this is the final product. So I have Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Aaron Rodgers, and Josh Allen as the elite quarterbacks in the league going forward, 2021. Uh, above, the above average quarterbacks, Lamar, Dak Prescott, Tom Brady, Kyler Murray, Ryan Tannehill, Justin Herbert, Matt Stafford, and Baker Mayfield. I see May Mayfield maybe breaking out this year. One of the better, one of the best quarterbacks this year. Could be like a Josh Allen this year, top five, because of his weapons. OBJ and Jarvis Landry. And Donovan People Jones is developing. Rashad Higgins is becoming a, a an okay wide receiver, like a David Moore type receiver on the Seahawks. Um Derek Carr and Kirk Cousins are the bet could be here, but I'm gonna keep them here just because I don't want to overload any category. There's like forty three quarterbacks in this list, so that's why below average is kinda big, kinda stacked. Uh, but moving forward, these two, uh, Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins, obviously average, Matt Ryan, Jimmy Garoppolo, Mitchell Trubisky, Carson Wentz, Joe Burrow, ben, ben Roethlisberger, and Philip Rivers as average quarterback. Rivers, obviously, I said that Rivers and um, Tyrod Taylor should be in an undefined category because he got a puncture lung after week one, and he retired. Uh, Jamie's Winston, Drew Brees, Jared Goff, I think Goff should could be here if he was on the Rams, but he's not, so he's gone from that list on that tier. Um, Taysom Hill, Tua, Kyle Allen, Jacoby Brissett, Andy Dalton, Alex Smith, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Daniel Jones, Marcus Mariota, Tyrod Taylor, uh, Teddy Bridgewater, Nick Foles are all below average. Uh, I think moving forward because I don't see James Winston being a very Good quarterback moving forward on a team like the Saints. Uh, 
that's all I could say about below average. Sam Darnold sucks. Was Sam Darnold, Garnu, Minshew, uh, Joe Flacco, Drew Lock. Actually, Drew Lock. I'm gonna move here because actually no, I'm gonna keep him here because of his horrible performance this season. And but that that's because he's without Cortland Sutton, which is a huge okay. asset. Damn, I have a really long neck. I just realized that. This could be a fucking giraffe. Um, I think that's Jared Sidon, Cam Newton, Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, that's my QB tier list. If you guys have any uh, arguments, please leave in the comments. I will argue with you. I love to argue. Not to me. And we can have a debate. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave some video suggestions. Uh... Uh, I'll leave. I'll, I'll put a link on. So uh, follow my Instagram. I'll leave for the fans at NFL. I'll leave a like a poll there to see what you guys want to see on the channel. I'll also maybe put it on my Twitter. Uh, I'll, I'll put that in the comments. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching and see you guys later.